All right, welcome back to the channel. KMR, we're going to talk some brap if I get down here in the video. But this is gonna be the focus of what we're working on. This is the front chamber of a three rotor motor. And to take apart three rotor engines or the Cosmo 20Bs, you have to separate a two piece eccentric shaft. The front lobe is actually pressed and keyed into position. And this actually requires a specialty tool. This is fairly unique if you compare it to piston engines, referring to the crankshaft. You very rarely ever see a multi-piece crank. So the fact that Mazda was able to engineer a strong, reliable, <clears throat> multi-piece crank is very interesting. And this design is also what led both within Mazda and in the aftermarket area to four rotors, five rotors, and six rotors building on this idea. To get these apart, I don't recommend just beating them with a hammer. Um, there's a lot of fragile components, and these components are very expensive. Um, with the specialty tool, you actually want to protect your front threads. So you've got a cap here that goes on, and then we have a Mazda-made shaft pulling tool. It'll slide down on over the nose of the shaft, drop down into the threaded portion, of that front lobe, making sure to get it all the way down in. Don't rip any threads out. That'd be horrible. We get that down, and then we bring this down to the end of our crank or our eccentric shaft. And with a little bit of bang bang, we've now popped the eccentric shaft lobe off of the main portion of shaft. All right, so we've, we've slid the shaft up, removed the tool. We're gonna take our cap off. Do not drop the cap two hands all the time. Expensive stuff. And then we're gonna slide our lobe up off very carefully. We've got our key that's for timing. And you can see how it's press fit onto the shaft. Very cool stuff. Multi-rotor engines. All right, I think that's now a wrap. Anybody has questions, comment below. Um, if you're building three rotors, four rotors, you either need a factory tool or some type of aftermarket tool generally. Um, there's some ways to get around it, but I like using the pullers versus just banging on stuff.